I'm just about to reveal some of the best ways you can make use of ChatGPT for content creation, so let's get started. I'm confident you know how ChatGPT works, and you've probably used it in the past. It's one of the most popular tools right now, and that's because it can do some amazing things. But in today's video, we're going to be straight to the point and stick to some very specific use cases. So for the sake of simplicity, let's just imagine that you have a YouTube channel and you're posting content consistently, but you want to improve the quality of your content. You've run out of ideas. You want to improve something about your content strategy. Well, here's how ChatGPT can help you. And there to have a full picture, let's say that you're in the e-commerce niche. You're just creating videos about e-commerce. That is a pretty good niche. It's got one of the highest RPMs on YouTube. But let's not get sidetracked. Going back to ChatGPT, here's what you can do. First off, let's help ChatGPT get accustomed to us and what we're doing. I run a YouTube channel about e-commerce and I want to increase my subscriber count. Can you give me 10 video ideas that will help me reach more people? Let's just hit enter and see what ChatGPT does. Look at this. Product reviews and unboxing of popular e-commerce products. That's one idea. How to guides on starting and scaling an e-commerce business. Interview with successful e-commerce entrepreneurs. Each and every single one of these can be a successful video that you post on your channel. Predictions and industry analysis, a live Q&A session, comparison videos of popular e-commerce platforms. All of these are in demand. People are searching for this stuff and there's a pretty good chance they will watch your videos if you create them. But now these are 10 different categories. What we can do now is take it one step further and ask ChatGPT to give us five exact titles in each and every single one of those categories. Look at this. Give me five video titles for each category. Look at this one. Unboxing the latest iPhone. Is it worth the upgrade? Product review. Our topic for best e-commerce platform. Unboxing and first impression of the new Nintendo Switch Pro. And that was just the first category. When it comes to high two guys, you can put together a step-by-step -step guide on how to start an e-commerce business on maximizing profits. Here are five different titles for interviews with successful entrepreneurs. And the list goes on and on. It is literally going to provide you with an almost infinite source of inspiration. So this is a great brainstorming session. Even if you don't end up using these exact titles and video ideas, and perhaps you want to do something slightly different, this is still a great brainstorming session that's going to save you a lot of time. Instead of just opening YouTube and then trying to come up with a new video idea, which is extremely hard, you can use ChatGPT for inspiration. And on that same note, you can also use it for competitor research. Again, let's just imagine that your channel is centered around e-commerce. You're not the first one. There are probably a lot of other content creators on YouTube posting similar content who are a little bit more successful than you are. And so here's what you can do. You can take your time to find a few of the biggest players in your niche and try to reverse engineer their success and break down their content creation strategies in ChatGPT. You can literally pick one of their most popular videos and ask ChatGPT to analyze it and basically tell you why it was so successful. I could literally copy the transcript of one such video, send it over to ChatGPT and ask it something along the lines of, why do you think this video got 1 million views? What was the secret? There's no need to reinvent the wheel. Most of the answers you're looking for are already out there, but you just gotta find them. And ChatGPT can help you do that. But we're not gonna stop here. Here's the thing. Let's just say that you are actually using OpenAI to come up with new video ideas and to research your competition. Well, the next thing you can do once you start recording this content is try to maximize its performance. Try to make sure that your videos are actually working and that is done by maximizing your titles, using the right thumbnails and things of that sort. You can literally have the best video on YouTube, but if nobody clicks on it because you have a bad thumbnail and title, you've basically wasted your time. So that's where ChatGPT also comes into play. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm simply going to copy one of these video ideas and ask ChatGPT to give me 10 title options for this video. And let's see what it can do. Is this $100 drone a bargain or a bust? Product review. Testing capabilities of a $100 drone. 10 different options here. And you can even ask it for 100 if you want to. But these are some very generic titles. They are pretty good. They could work. But if you really want to take full advantage of ChatGPT, you can ask it for something a little bit more unique. For instance, you can ask it to make them more controversial so that you can get more clicks and more exposure. Make these titles more controversial. Take a look at this. Is this $100 drone a scam or a steal? Product review. Budget drone bro. Is this $100 model worth the risk? Is it foolish to expect a decent drone for under $100? As you can see, these titles are a lot more impactful. And this was just one small edit. I'm pretty sure that if you take your time to keep on editing these results and gradually improving them, you will get to a point where they are basically perfect. Then they're ready to go. And on that same note, you can even ask ChatGPT for thumbnail suggestions. 
Let's just pick one of them. Cheap drone warning. Is this $100 option worth the gamble? I'm just gonna copy that title. And now I'm gonna ask the AI for a few different thumbnail ideas. Now, remember the capabilities of ChatGPT are insane. So it's up to you to send you the right instructions and make use of it correctly. Look at this. Give me five thumbnail ideas for a video with this title. I'm gonna send that and wait for ChatGPT to provide the feedback. A drone flying in a field with a warning sign superimposed on the image. A person holding a cheap looking drone with a caution tape wrapped around it. A side-by-side -side comparison of a cheap drone and a more expensive one. The thing about all of these thumbnail ideas is that these are not just random. The AI didn't just come up with an idea out of the blue. All of these were basically derived from a huge database of thumbnails that it has already studied. So it knows what it's doing. And there is a pretty good chance that one such thumbnail might perform a lot better than a thumbnail that you come up with out of the blue. That's what I'm trying to say here. Even if you have a little bit of experience when it comes to content creation, you've been posting content for quite some time and you know how the game works, ChatGPT probably knows more than you do. And if we're honest with ourselves, we can take full advantage of it. And so think about it this way. All we had to do was literally tell the AI about our channel niche. And that was e-commerce. Then it provided provided us with a bunch of different video ideas. Up next, it also sent us a bunch of different titles for those video ideas. And now it's also offering thumbnail suggestions. The next thing we can do is ask it for help with our script writing. And it can do that. Drone on a budget. Is this $100 option worth the gamble? Let me just copy that and ask the AI to write me a full YouTube script for a video with this title. That is the requirement and you will do it. Now, if you want to make sure that this content is 100% original, you want to specify that because otherwise it's basically going to glue together bits of information from his database and that might get you in trouble. However, you need to understand that ChatGPT is not necessarily a content writing tool. So even though it can put together some scripts that are pretty good quality, I would use it for something slightly different. I would basically write the text myself, write the video script myself, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just going to do it so that it is original. Once I'm done with that, once I'm done writing that very simple, very rough initial draft, I'm going to send it over to ChatGPT for improvements. So instead of asking you to create it from scratch, I'm going to create the initial script and then send it over to the AI. And it is going to expand on that idea. I personally think that's a far better strategy. And that's how you make sure that you don't get any sort of copyright related issues just for your safety you may also want to run it through a plagiarism checker just in case. You want to be on the safe side. And it goes even beyond that. Again, let's say that you're posting longer videos, right? Like this YouTuber right here. But let's say you wanted to take it to the next level and you want to get more exposure across multiple social media platforms. So instead of only putting together YouTube videos, you also want to create TikToks, Reels, Twitter threads. Well, ChatGPT can help you with that as well. It can turn this YouTube video script, it can basically repurpose it and turn it into other formats. Turn this into a short TikTok. Look at this. It is going to rewrite the whole text, keeping the same idea, but in the style of a TikTok. It's a lot shorter and straight to the point, and it does the job. Or you can also turn it into a Twitter thread. Look at this. Here's the first slide. Here's the second one. It will keep on writing. And so you can keep your main focus on a single platform like YouTube, and you can really put in the work, put in the effort to come up with the best content for your YouTube channel, and then instead of doing this all over again, which is going to waste a lot of your time for the other platforms, you can repurpose your content. In my case, that would be a great idea because I've already got a bunch of videos. So what I can do is use ChatGPT to repurpose this already existing content. And I'm pretty sure that would work pretty well. And these were just some of the ways you can use ChatGPT for content creation. But I'm pretty sure that if you spend the time actually using the AI and getting to learn how to properly make use of it, you can find a bunch of other use cases, but that's it for now and thanks for watching.